Hey guys, welcome to Rachel's Toy Review. I am Rachel and today I am here to show you Macho Man Randy Savage. So first of all, on the back of his card, um, he is like smashing Faker with his mace. And um, and his, his uh, card says, Freak out, freak out, as macho madness spread to all corners of WW Eternia. There is only one man who has the power to control it. Macho man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. So, that's um, Randy Savage. He has... Um, he has this little um, like skull cap type hat that comes on and off really easy. His sunglasses do not come off. Um, his weapon is this mace that is kind of like a um, man at arms mace. Um, he also... <laughs> He also has, that hat comes off really easy apparently. Um, he also has the shin guards, um, his boots that, um, and the shin guards are of course removable. Um, he, his boots are cool with the two little stars on each side. Um, his chest piece comes off. So this is, um, so chest piece says Macho Man and his, um, his chest is the, um, it's like the battle armor, um, like how Skeletor and He-Man have it. I think, so this, this piece is hard for me to get on and off. So, um, I'm just going to pop his head off, hopefully pop this apart. I did practice before I got on. Um, so this is the piece that pops out. Um, the very first time that I did it, now I think after you do it once or twice, then um, it's a little bit easier, but it did feel like I was going to break it. So um, just be careful. And then there are two, two different um, pieces that you can put in. So three pieces total, but two pieces of um, the battle armor. Let's just go ahead and put um, the most damaged one on there um, with his... With that chest piece off, you can see his tights better too, and his tights say Macho Man, and they have stars on them, um, and then his, this thing just goes back together. Super easy, super well. No, I'm just not very good at this. Okay, there we go. So, um, and then pop his head on. Also, super easy. Um, and yeah, so then you can switch up the armor. So, um, and then obviously this this chest piece is going to fit anybody and everybody. Um, <laughs> sometimes when I tell you guys stuff that I have not checked out but I think is true in my head, then I get nervous that it won't be true and that will be the mess up but anyway so there he is we're just gonna leave this hat down um he comes with this um, mini comic on the front he is fighting with triple h um and then on the inside there's his bio and the super mini comic strip um randy savage macho man is Master of Macho Madness. He is 6'2". He weighs 237. His superstar powers are overpowering intensity, cat-like reflexes, and the conjurer of Macho Madness. Um, he has the Macho Mace and the Bandana Helmet. Oh, okay, so that's why it's like a skull cap looking, um, whoops. That's why it's like a skull cap looking thing to me. It just is... It just fits really tight and goes right on his head. So anyway, that is Macho Man. Um, so I only have one for you guys. Usually I've been doing two, um, but I only have one right now. I The next um, character that I have, or the next figure I have, I have like not a lot of stuff for it. So I have to see if I can pick another one of those up or find a friend that has the the um, accessories that I can use. But I thought, um, because I have a captive audience, that I would just vent to you guys. Um, have you guys been experiencing the pre-order frustration specifically through Walmart? Um, I know on my... Um, 
on my Instagram, I posted about it, but um, the Snake Mountain um, ring um, with the two figures, um, I ordered that in like July. And first, it was supposed to be here at end of September, then they pushed it to October. I just got an email this week that it's pushed out again till November. Um, same thing happened with, I ordered in August, um, Orko, um, Man at Arms, Beast Man, because those are two that I hadn't found yet in the store, and, um, oh, who was the other one that we're waiting on? Oh, Manny Faces. Um, so Manny Faces and Orko specifically, I have not seen in store, and I haven't obviously gotten the shipment, and it just says, delayed. So when will those come? I have no idea. And so what is the point of pre-order? Um, that's, that's my vent. That's my gripe. Um, we had an opportunity to get the castle pre-ordered that goes with these origin figures. Um, and then the, the pre-orders now and it doesn't come out until like February or sometime in the spring. I'm not sure. But honestly, I didn't pre-order them because why? Why would I pre-order and just have them continue to push it out? Like what is what is the benefit of pre-order? Um, when Walmart contacted me back they, about the ring specifically, they said that it was a Mattel issue or a manufacturer issue. Well, did they not make any of these? Like, should we, the pre-order people, should we not be getting these first? Um, I don't know. And, you know, maybe it's like a COVID thing or a 2020 thing and I'm just being a jerk about it, but I don't know. So I want to know if you guys are frustrated, if you guys have gotten those yet, um, like, shipped to you. Um, not that you, I know people have found them in the store, but if you haven't, if you've had them shipped to you or if you got the ring, um, I just want to know your experience so that it maybe we can like, we can chat about it together and make each other feel better about not being able to get these figures and these, these things. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.